everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and this is Pumpkin Palooza, put on by Prepper Potpourri. It includes several channels. I will list all of their channels in the description box below for you, as well as the playlist. And then I will also put a link to my recipe in the description box below, as, you, as always. I am going to be making dinner out of a can of pumpkin. I believe there's going to be some pumpkin desserts in this collab and several pumpkin recipes. I don't know who's making dinner recipes, but I'm making a dinner recipe tonight. For dinner, we are going to have a pumpkin and sausage rigatoni bake. I love making pasta sauce out of canned pumpkin. It is so good. I like it actually more than using tomatoes for pasta sauce. Um, spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, not my favorite. Made out of tomatoes, not my favorite. I much prefer white sauce or a pumpkin sauce. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. In this pan I have one pound of mild Italian sausage, so a sweet Italian sausage. You can use hot Italian if you like. I have one medium onion that I've diced really fine. Okay, here's my little meat chopper. This one is from Pampered Chef. If you are interested in Pampered Chef items, I am actually going to do another online Pampered Chef party like I did last year for the holidays because I realize I need some stuff too. So I need to put it in order. And it was so fun last year. We will do it live. It'll be next month, so I'll keep you posted as to which day. Okay, and my pot is boiling pretty hard there. I'm going to put my rigatoni in. So I'm going to get this ready and then I have an appointment. My husband's going to throw this in the oven for dinner while I'm gone. If you don't, you could use any kind of sausage you like. If you want to just use ground pork with no sausage flavor, you could do that as well. That way it won't compete with the pumpkin sauce. Or if you just have ground beef, you can totally just use that. I'm also going to put some dehydrated spinach in this. You can totally use fresh spinach, fresh kale, your freeze dried or your dried. Any of them will work for this. You can use your own home canned pumpkin if you have it. I did mine in quarts and I don't need a whole quart for this. Plus I wanted to save my my um, canned pumpkin for pumpkin pie for the holidays, but you can totally use your own home canned pumpkin if you canned a bunch of it. Sorry about all the noise. I have all the fans in this house going. All the windows are open. It's only 84 today, so it's beautiful here in Phoenix. But it gets a little warm when you start cooking. I'm going to throw in some of my dried spinach. So Robert will think it's herbs. Don't worry, he'll eat this long before he sees this video. You can put however much you like in. I'm not going to put a ton of it in because if he tastes a bunch of spinach, he won't eat it. But that's just a little bit. I'm going to push that to the side and just let it cool off. 
Okay, I have drained my noodles, put them into my casserole dish, and I've mixed in my sausage mi mixture. We are going to get started with the sauce here. One stick of butter. While this butter is melting, I'm going to put in two cloves of garlic. The sausage has garlic in it, so we're not, we're not going to need that much for the sauce here. So what we're going to do is make a bechamel first, and then we're going to add the pumpkin, and then we're going to add cheese, thereby turning the bechamel into a Mornay sauce. Bechamel often gets confused with Alfredo. It's a white sauce, yes, but Alfredo is made completely different than this. Alfredo, you don't make a roux first. My butter is fresh out of the freezer, so it is frozen. To our one stick of butter being half a cup, we're going to put in a half a cup of flour to make the roux. And we're going to cook this for about three minutes to get that flour taste out. And I like to toast it a little bit. Turn it a little brown, light brown of course. And then I have my gallon of whole milk standing by. Okay, so after the three minutes, it starts to brown up a little bit. You don't want it to burn. I'm going to add milk. I just kind of do it slowly in increments. But I'm slowly going to incorporate four cups of milk in here. Classic bechamel does not have sauteed garlic, FYI. That is an addition I put in. The bechamel, I should say. Now, I am going to add my pumpkin in. I only want about a half a cup of pumpkin in here. I don't want to use the whole can. I'll find a different use for the rest of that. Let's go further thicken the sauce up. Now it is a pumpkin bechamel. But once you start putting cheese in, it changes it to a Mornay sauce. One of these days I'm going to do a video on the sauces, the mother sauces, and then what they create and what their uses are. Because I think people are confused by that. Something I always put in every bechamel I make is a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Yes, it makes a difference. It makes it so much better. Also nutmeg. You bechamel needs nutmeg. Needs nutmeg whether you're putting pumpkin in it or not. So I'm going to grate probably a half a teaspoon of nutmeg in it. It's up to you how much you want to put in. A quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. Bechamel gets nutmeg, but Alfredo sauce does not get nutmeg. It's too much of a contrasting flavor for Alfredo. Every white sauce does not need nutmeg. Alfredo is meant to be a creamy garlic cheese sauce, not the spice. I'm going to put a little bit more milk in. I don't want it getting too thick because I cooked my pasta al dente because it's going to sit in the refrigerator until I'm ready to bake it and it'll keep absorbing. I am going to add a little bit of kosher salt, probably half a teaspoon. 
I'm going to add some pepper. I'm going to give this a taste. More salt. I love the pumpkin flavor. Now make sure you salt it and pepper it to your flavors. I may not use as much salt as you like in your food. Okay, and then here comes the Parmesan cheese, turning this into a Mornay sauce. I'm doing half a cup-ish. I'm going to stir that around and melt it. And that'll add extra salt and flavor. You know, also, I want to let you know, if you don't want to use all this dairy, the milk, use chicken broth for your liquid. I do that. Sometimes I'll use four cups of chicken broth and then I'll put in like a quarter cup of heavy cream in the end. It kind of controls the lactose a little bit. I have a lot of people who are lactose sensitive in this family. And heavy cream, the heavier the cream, the less lactose in it, believe it or not. Skim milk has lots of lactose. But the higher you go up in fat content, the lower the lactose percentage. So that is how I do it usually when everybody's here for dinner. Let me give this a taste. That is so good. But I am going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Also going to add a teaspoon of parsley. And I'm going to add more black pepper. If you've never had pumpkin pasta sauce, you have to try this. I love it so much. I would much prefer to eat this than a tomato-based sauce. You can put this over any noodle shape you like. If you want to do this sauce and some meatballs, you could totally do that. This is delicious anyway for any dish. Okay, I have my pasta and sausage there. You could put a lot more um, spinach in that. I said I'm making mine pretty saucy because it's going to sit for a while and pasta will always soak up your sauce. So by the time you bake it, it'll be dry if you don't put enough in there. You can also use this base for macaroni and cheese. And add your white cheddar to it. And where's Robert when I need him? <laughs> oh, this pan's heavy. Okay, and then I'm going to cover the top of this with mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and put mozzarella cheese on this, get it refrigerated, and then Robert will put it in the oven when I'm gone. 350 until the cheese gets golden brown, so that's about a good 30 minutes. Okay, so on top of this, I have about four ounces of smoked mozzarella. 
smoked mozzarella is pretty strong if you get a good one. So you don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to mix this with regular mozzarella. But it's nice to have the smoky flavor in there too. Okay, so that's my smoked mozzarella. I'm going to get the other mozzarella on here. And then um, we'll be back after it's baked. All right. We have now brought this out of the oven. And it is time to cut it up. I even washed my hands today. All right, here we go. Which bowl I'm gonna use this one over here. It's beautiful. Oh, that's thick. That is thick. Probably only weighs about 10 pounds. I'm not even joking around. Easy 10 pounds. Look at that smoked gouda right there on top. Does my wife know her stuff? Does my wife know her stuff? All right. Now that that's all cut. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the bowl today. Mmm, oh. just... Look at that deliciousness. Wowzer. Alright. And here we go. We find a fork. Alright. You might want to see me do this. Most do, most don't. All right, let's go right about there. All right, here we go. Another delicious meal. Brought to you by Jenny Scratch Made Kitchen. Hmm. Oh, that's perfect, perfect, perfectly done. Look at that. Oh, babe, wonderful. Once again, wonderful. Very, very cheesy. Has smoked Gouda on top. Oh, flavorful. Mm -mm -mm. Once again, if you are not subscribed, please do. If you have any questions, please ask. Once again, thank you so much for watching us. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so the pasta is done. He took it out and did your taste test for you. It is so good. You have to try this. If you've never had pumpkin pasta sauce, you, ha you this is a must try. It is spectacular. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. I will put the link in the description box below for you. And make sure that you go to all the other channels and check them out. Everybody's going to have some fabulous pumpkin recipes for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.